my part two you would you would have seen some options so in the part three we can discuss with some other training options so for that uh, what thing i'm going to give is this um, learn read schedule then learn read uh, period this three things i'm going to add in our course okay so we shall add and since our maximum airports is only five here we can give us two because what this thing is do will this is uh, this initial learn rate uh, we are uh, pro in order to change this we are giving a drop factor of 0 0.2 and for every two approaches this uh, uh, learn rate will be reduced to by 0.2 so now we can run this thing we will get uh, you will get idea when you are giving getting this uh, uh, learn base rate value initially here you can see for previous thing it is constant that is 0 0.01100 1, 1, which is nothing but this thing this thing so now you can see there will be some changes over there Yes, there is an increase in this uh, validation. Uh, sorry, it's, it's increased and then it dropped. It is 250 to 60. The first and foremost thing to in order to accuracy is to increase the number of images. To increase the number of images, we have to do image augmentation. Augmentation will um, actually increase the number of images by rotating it. Uh, uh, by changing some values of it and obviously by using image augmentation uh, or uh, that is accuracy will be uh, with the same uh, data set we can check so only you can make the difference so that thing I will post in my next video so before that in order to if you, if you want to check what are the things you can change you can in this thing also you can change you just want to ch check what are the parameters that the here the SGDM is given. So if you want the training ad parameters for Adam means just take click here training options because we are which the train the optimizer which we are using is Adam no. So if you are using uh, SGDM is means you can use this training option itself. But since we are not using yeah here adam optimizer training options is given so here we can check what are the options it is having so you can see initial learn rate then in order to see how we have to put means just click over here and you will check what is what is there what is that or its complete meaning so if these are the training options of Adam. So here they also given a squad gradient. So we can try this thing also in our code. For that I am just giving that thing. That we can give after the approaches. Okay, then now we can run our code. Initially, I said you that every approaches or land rate will uh, change. That is, you can see over here, yeah, it is not constant. While well, comparing with the previous thing, the base learning rate is constant here, you can see. But in this case, it does change. So, uh, why, by changing this land rate drop factor, factor and period it will be changing so now we can see this figure is common so whether it is increasing or not 
so the basically i said that initially once we are increasing the number of images the accuracy will be displayed or uh, sorry increasing automatically but we uh, other than that we have to set some parameters like this so augmentation is another step so image augmentation we can see in our next video so thank you